I'm giving you one opportunity. Like you've you've been really evasive this entire show. Like you've you've willingly come on a dating podcast, yeah, yet you refuse to like answer just basic dating questions. I feel some things that are just more personal to people than others. But like you've come on a dating podcast. Like we talk about sex, we talk about relationships. Like I don't need you to like tell fucking details about um like I don't need the details of your sex life. I'm just asking if like have you hooked up with somebody before? I just believe that's personal and I, I don't think that I should be forced well, to share Can I that. can I ask you this? Before the kick happens, let me ask you this. Is do you market yourself as a virgin? Is this part of your marketing technique for OnlyFans no. or Okay, so no, you, are, are you concerned saying. that your OnlyFans uh, customers would have a different opinion if no, they I knew just, you weren't a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm worried about. It's more so the fact that I just want to um, show myself in what I feel is a representative. Like, a like OnlyFans? But Based. you don't know what I do on OnlyFans. So it's like for you to we say, kind of have a let me ask you this. There, right? do, you, do you think not being a virgin decreases your value or something? Why, why are you hesitant to say? Um, I just, it's personal to me and I think that, that that's okay. And I don't think that okay. there's anything wrong with that. And if somebody, it's the same way as if you thought that it was personal, I asked you a question, I would completely think that's okay with yeah, you. Yeah, no, I'm, I think, I think you're totally within your right to not say you are on a dating show. So I think it's kind of expected you would say to be fair to Brian, but I think if you don't want to say that's totally fine. Like there, there are private things about my life that I wouldn't say in front of 10,000 people. That's did, fine. Did you just come on here to advertise your OnlyFans then? Because no. what's the point of coming on a dating podcast if you're not yep. going to talk about your dating life? I've never, I, he knew, I messaged him and I told him that I've never been on a date before. So, so then why would I mean, you just, No, you said you've never been in a long-term relationship. Well, it's yeah. the same thing as dating, isn't it? You not? said you were in a situationship for six months. Yeah, so you have and that's some dating So experience. you were fucking somebody and then not, like, what? Like, that doesn't make sense. I just How are you in a situationship and then you never... Go off, like, Kelly. That doesn't... What no, but that's, a, that's okay. You yourself. are entitled to your own opinions, and that's completely fine. But I just am to mine as well, and I personally don't want to share some things, and that, that shouldn't be an issue. And that's completely up to so you. So then, guys. what are you? What do you want to share? What are you going to share? Well, there's other questions that you can ask based off of, rather than just my body count. We, we didn't, didn't ask, ask we you didn't, that. Didn't, body didn't okay, tell us your body count. But let, like, let me like, ask no you this: she didn't even tell her age. Are, are you are her? you saving yourself for marriage? No. No. So she's okay. So are you just okay, saving so yourself for the, for the right person, but you don't need to be married? Yes, and I personally don't want to go past that point because I respectfully, like, I don't want to share. Mm. And if you guys want me to leave, I'm more than welcome to leave right now. I just, I'm not comfortable with that, and I think that should be respected, and I would respect you guys if that was the same situation, regardless who was saying it. And that's I just how I personally feel. It's one thing, like, it's just there's been at least three different instances where you're like, I don't want to share that, I don't want to share that, I don't want to share that. You didn't want to share your age, which is pretty bad faith, because, like, who isn't open about sharing their age? Well, if you and had, that's if the you thing had is, I just don't want to be belittled by, the, by me telling you my age. I don't want you to look at me in a different perspective, and I think Madison that, over there is I'm 18. 18. <laughs> and that's okay, but that, she's entitled to her own opinions, and I'm entitled to mine, right? But I think it makes it really obvious that you're really young if you say something yeah, like that. Yeah, for real. That's yeah. what I was going to say. And I, like, like, we kind of can tell by your age, You're trying just to by be the very way. mysterious, but it's yeah. just like... Why? I think I think it is totally within your right as a woman and a person to say I don't want to share something, but you're on a dating show, right? And sure. so I think I think that's the frustration. And I think that there's other there's other questions that can be involved when it comes to a dating podcast. It doesn't have to be like about you your know, sex life or love life or age or well, love life is different. Sex life is different. Two different things. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like personally, that's just my preference. I'll save it for later. Um, I mean. It, you're right in so far as like you don't have to answer that question, but it's just it. If you're just not comfortable answering, that's fine. But um, we're tr I'm trying to loop you into the conversation here. You know, and you're, I'm and trying to loop you into the conversation, if, and you're just not making it easy. If I look at it this way, in a, it's a lose lose situation, personally. What's if, lose lose? If I if I were to say it right, and coming from somebody who's done social media for a long time, personally, I've done TikTok for a very long time. If I were to, I understand this is a very different platform and I completely get that it can have different perspectives, but I've watched your podcast before I came on here. I just learned about it yesterday, so watched a few different videos, and I saw some girls say a number and say it was low and you guys still considered it high. 
I would be judged here if it was low. But if it's online, now I'm being judged in a different perspective from other people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm being judged. But no I, I didn't ask what for I'm your saying. body count. I didn't ask for your body count. I just like if if I were to ask some sex related question, like you know, okay, if, if, we me, start, if we start if we start talking if we started talking about like you know favorite position, would you just omit answering that question? Yeah, she would. What? <laughs> What's your favorite sexual? Like, that's a fun, lighthearted question to ask on a dating podcast. What's your favorite Pile position? I've just, honestly, I've just, when it comes to the bed questions, like <laughs> being in bed, no, I'm seriously, I've, sorry, I've had what some very bed? traumatic experiences myself, What's so I shouldn't have to share the bed questions, you know what I'm saying? But it, when it comes to going on a date and having those conversations of like, you, you know what I'm saying? Date. Like I was more than willing to answer and I did respond to those. So it's like. Isn't it kind of silly that you would answer that question, but you can't answer your age? You have your own opinion and I have mine and that's okay. And I completely respect it and I'm open to understanding other people's perspectives and I'm not against it. And that's just the way that I view things. And if that makes other people uncomfortable, then I can leave. I have no issue with that. You are over 18, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'll let, I'm going to let it slide, but uh, okay. 